Alrighty, so last year I actually set goals for myself at New Year's and I thought I would just do like a public video to <laughs> go through what I accomplished and what I failed at and I don't know. I think goal setting is really important. It helped me actually achieve things this year that I wanted to do so that I wasn't just like aimlessly floundering around. So that was good. Um, let's go through it, I guess. So I broke it up into like sections. So my first goal was to lose two pounds a week by eating 1500 calories or less per day and walking 15 minutes three times a week. I wanted to be 180 pounds by the end of June. Um, I sort of did this. I very rarely walked. I probably walked like less than two dozen times this year, maybe even one dozen, I don't know. Uh, so I didn't actually start on this until August. Um, I was at like 240 pounds at my highest weight about then when I started. Uh, I lost about 30 pounds since then, not counting whatever Christmas stuff I've eaten in the last few days. So currently I'm sitting around 210 pounds. So that's good, but still uh, not where I hope to be. I was really hoping that I was going to hit 200 pounds by Christmas, but um, I had some plateaus and stuff that prevented me from doing that, and that made me discouraged, and I was just kind of given up for the last week or so. So that's that. Eat 20 grams of sugar less per day. Didn't do that very well. I guess some of the days and maybe I did, but for the most part, no. Lift weights three times per week. No, I just kind of like when I feel like it, I do it maybe um, once or twice a week for the last couple of months maybe even less than that and like not at all the start of the year drink four Voss bottles of water per day so that's these bottles 800 milliliters um I was obviously I just refill them from the tap but I like because they are glass uh, I didn't get anywhere near that I probably drink like one or two of those a day um professional I was hoping to write a million words this year besides my weight loss goal that was kind of the big thing either from my sites or my client sites um, I totally lost track of that but I'm probably over 500,000 words that I've written this year maybe like 600,000 I don't know uh, I wanted to write 150 new articles for my own three websites I think I actually have more websites than that now um, but I have 80 articles written in total and I'd say maybe like 30 of those were written last November, December, so they don't really count as 2019 stuff. Um, maybe I should have made, I don't know, it's bad to put income related goals for that kind of stuff. I could have said that because I'm making more through like advertising and stuff now than I hope for. Um, financially though, my goal was to make about $1,700 $1, a month, which is $20,000 a year. Some months I didn't make seven hundred seventeen hundred dollars Like some months I just made zero. You'll see it down below. Uh, but on average, I guess I've made more than that over 12 months. Meditate 10 minutes a day. No, I've largely failed at that. I've probably done it less than 20 times in total again. Probably like 10 of those in the last month. Cold showers. Very sporadic. In the cold months, I've stopped doing it entirely, and before then, like, less than once a week. Stretch goals. I was hoping to write a novel this year in November for NaNoWriMo. I came very close. I have the whole thing plotted out. I think I have a good story, but I kind of doubted myself, and I worried that it wouldn't sell, and it would be a big waste of time, so I ended up not doing that. Um... So I have no novel. I have an idea for a novel that I never started, and I just did nothing in November. Um, so January of this year, I was really proud. I made $10,000. I was hoping for 4000 so that was pretty sweet. If only I could do that every month. Um, I had basically July, August, 
October, November, I basically did no work. Um, December, I'm doing okay. Actually, haven't earned all that yet. I'm about eighty percent of the way done. I've got a few more articles to write before the end of the year, but in total, so first I made this twenty k goal, and then I made thirty one thousand goal. I don't know how I I just like arbitrarily decided this was how much I was going to make during the year, but. I did that, so I don't know. Um, I made some progress towards my goals, but largely <laughs> did not achieve most of them. I've heard somebody say that you're only supposed to actually achieve 20% of the goals that you set, though, so I don't know. That's fine. Here's what we got for this year. This literally, like, <clears throat> so I bought this life purpose course a couple years ago. Um, I went through and redid all of that. That's where all this crap comes from. <laughs> I spent like three days doing all this, deciding what my whole purpose was going to be about for the next year. I went back and did Jordan Peterson's future authoring program to get a good idea about my future and stuff. I've got the uh, eight noble truths of Buddhism, even though I'm not a Buddhist. This is like what I want to go for, I think. I might try and go vegan and stuff or at least vegetarian I don't know if I can justify eating meat anymore so part of that is going to be that and part of this is this just going to be not being a dick basically all right 2020 goals I don't know why I wrote but I said live as though this is my last year live I think that's probably a good approach to take to life I don't know we'll see I'll do it one year and see how it works out um, so building off my weight loss goal from last year, I wanted to get down to 200 pounds last year. I got down to 210 this year. I want to go to 155 pounds if I'm like skinny or 175 with significant amount of muscle just to look better and feel better. Um, I've written out all the stuff. You can read all that if you want. The lightest I've ever been was like 165 pounds. I don't know if I even have my phone to do the, I can show my fitness pal thing, but yeah. I'm pretty much the lowest I have been in several years, even at 210, but I wanna get back to, I think that 155 is gonna be a stretch, but I think 180, 175 is reasonable. Um, as far as money goes, I wanna earn $50,000 for my writing next year. I think this is going to be a really tough goal. Um, so I made 31 grand this year. That's obviously before tax and stuff, so I'm going to lose probably maybe like $6,000 when tax time comes around off all that I made this year. 2018, two years ago, I made about $14,000. The last year, $31,000. So next year, I'm like trying to double every year. I think this is the year that's not gonna work though, um, but I'm gonna try for it. I don't know, it's gonna be hard because I'm gonna have to average $4,200 a month, which is a lot. When you're just working from home, I'm worried I won't be able to find enough clients to do that. And also like this is an average, so I'm probably like this year, I don't know, I'm probably gonna have months where like some months I had like 4.5k, other months I had like two or no, no money earned at all. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna have to have like a bunch of 6k months and then a bunch of like 1 to 2k months I think, so that's gonna be hard. <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like I'm not earning enough and I wanna earn more. I need to put more work into my writing for other people and then if I can't find work, then I'm gonna do my own stuff, which is working on my own three websites and also brings me to the next thing. Create an online course. I actually wanna make two online courses in this coming year. Keep the topic secret for right now, but I wanna finish, hopefully I can do one in like the first six months of the year and then the other one in the second six, half, six months of the year. I'm kind of torn on one topic that I want to do. I'm not sure if it's going to be financially viable enough. I know the other one is good, but it's going to be harder. So I kind of want to do the passion project first, even though I think it might not make money. 
and then I want to do the second course the second half of the year which I think if I do it right has the potential to earn significant money uh, so we got 50 grand from writing realistically it might end up being like 30 if I'm lucky again though um, but I want to make this online course and if I can sell 100 copies at $99 each then I'll make 10 grand so that's what I'm hoping for if 10,000 people visit my website I think over the course of a year yeah I should be able to get 10,000 people to visit my website especially if I do paid advertising I'm not sure about that yet uh, with a 1% conversion rate that'll give me 100 sales so I'll make 10 grand I'm assuming that I'm gonna have to spend about 200 hours planning out the course material and recording videos so I'm hoping for like a $50 an hour return there I want to start actually meditating and doing Kriya Yoga I feel like this is the thing that's gonna actually make a difference in my life but I just have to actually start doing it um, I think I'll be like less depressed and more motivated and stuff if I can just meditate even for like 10 minutes a day spend extra time with my wife I feel like I default to like coming upstairs and sitting on my computer so I want to not do that as much anymore um, so yeah I'm gonna try and spend some time in the evenings doing more social things and on weekends I don't know we kind of like our best like couple friend had a baby this year so we stopped playing board games on weekends and stuff so I've spent less social time in general I guess um, miscellaneous habits I should probably make this more like prominent I feel like a lot of this stuff is important um, go to bed at a reasonable time so I can wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. the last all of last week I woke up at 5 a.m. and it was really good I got lots of work done it's a nice life hack to be able to finish an eight-hour work day by noon that's pretty sweet so I do that try to do no fab this year with limited success maybe try and do that again try and up my water intake I think four liters a day is gonna be too much I'll be like forcing myself to drink it but I think naturally I can do three three liters of water a day cold shower I'm not gonna do that while it's cold still but I think maybe like May I can start doing cold shower again I'll just have to remember to pick that back up floss I got into flossing my teeth and then I stopped again I think that's a good habit um, I have like one tooth that's borderline about to develop a cavity so I need to take care of that <clears throat> and flossing is the way to do it so between now and my dentist appointment in March I wanna try and floss from New Year's to then every day if I can get groceries delivered only eat out once a week this is like a budgetary thing I wanna try and save some money um, I tried ordering groceries online for the first time last week and I a cost effective wise I don't know if it's gonna work it was like 200 bucks for groceries normally I would spend like 120 a week for two people I think um, so there's a bunch of things so what is the service called even I don't remember it's instacart yeah so instacart takes like on an order of two hundred dollars like ten dollars of that goes straight to instacart and ten dollars of that is for the driver so like every time you order groceries it costs 20 bucks and that's a lot I might just actually go to the grocery store even though I hate driving and normally I only go with my wife so I have to we both go together I can start trying to do it myself I guess keep the house more organized vacuum and do the cat box twice a week instead of one time I think that's really good I'm gonna start doing that I've got my long-term goals this is just like everything for the next 10 years that I want to do so there's this one online course that I want to do if I meditate every day for three months I'm gonna treat myself with that I think it costs like 150 bucks or so um, it's just like 30 hours with a video update a budget and plan to start saving um wanted to do that I haven't updated my budget in like a year 
don't really know where I'm at financially. Create freelance writing online course. That's one of my courses. So the first course, Secret, is going to be the first half of this year. And the freelance writing course, hopefully the second half of the year, maybe next year. Have a baby. So I've been trying to do that for a while. We had a miscarriage this year. So that did not go well. I don't know, it's just stressful to deal with. So that would be nice. Spiritual enlightenment. This goes with the meditation and stuff, I guess. I need to do the meditation so that I can hit this eventually. Buy a fully detached home. Um, so I'm saying in five to 10 years. So I don't need to like pay cash for it or anything, but I, we just need to have enough income that we can be in a fully detached home. If nothing else, it's annoying me having walls connected to people. So for my mental sake, I feel like I just don't want to live in like a duplex anymore. Uh, form a Discord group or online community to help people achieve financial independence, feel their inventions and dreams, mentorship program 2025 onwards. That's like my first super lofty goal. It's like if I become a millionaire, I just want to have like a discord group where I help other people start their own business and stuff. Um, maybe give people like a few thousand dollars just to get them started either for a percent of ownership in the company or just, just because I can, I don't know. We'll see. I want to do some kind of treasure hunting, but that's like 10 years out at least. Um, I want to create a self sufficient community. I describe it as a Minecraft circular in real life, the commune. So um, if you've watched the Zeitgeist movies, I want to build like a resource based economy. This would require at least a couple million dollars to get started just to buy the land and to get everything set up. So that is quite a ways out. And then my big goal is like, I want to map the entire bottom of the ocean in 3D and try and discover a whole bunch of new deep sea species. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. I don't know if I'm really passionate about that because I don't actually want to go on the boats and stuff. I just want to pay someone else and like watch the webcam, watch the live cam of stuff being discovered. I'll just like hire, what are they called? Marine biologists and stuff to do that for me. Maybe if I have a super successful life, I'll do a TED talk. That'd be pretty sweet. I want to take psychedelics at some point. Maybe that'll be legalized in like the next 10 or 15 years so that I don't have to break the law to do it. I'd like to learn to sing and dance at some point, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. That's just something that keeps coming up over and over. And I got my Minecraft server goals. In addition to January and making 10 grand, I'd say starting my Minecraft server and having hundreds of people join it over the last year has been the most fulfilling achievement of the year. Um, it's pretty sweet, even though I don't get any money from it or anything. So I don't know. It's hard to measure success non-financially, but I guess it makes me happy and feels like I'm accomplishing something. So that's good. So that is my lofty set of goals for next year. So maybe there will be another video like a year from now where we go through this again and you see if I have succeeded past all of my wildest dreams or if I'm a total failure once again. Most likely it will be somewhere in between. We'll see how well I can stick to things and try and accomplish things. I just got to get into the mindset of working hard for like five or 10 years and then everything could be set if I'm just willing to do tons of work but it's hard even working like eight, an eight hour day is hard for me now i don't know if i'm a lazy person or maybe i have like a thyroid problem <laughs> it just makes me exhausted all the time or what i don't know but i don't know i will try and push through everything and we will try and do some of this stuff try and live some of this stuff and that is about all that is my rambling goal video uh, I salute you if you've watched to the end you now know more about what I'm going to do in the next year than you ever wanted to know and this has nothing to do with my usual content 
but I don't have another channel to put this on yet. So thank you. See you next time.